Hello, my name is Sadie Middleton and I'm a graduate research assistant with the Go Tobacco Free Initiative at the University of Kentucky. The Go Tobacco Free Initiative provides technical assistance to colleges and universities who are implementing a tobacco free policy on campus and uses an evidence based policy ad advocacy and implementation approach with a focus on evaluation. So today I'm presenting my poster on risk factors of emerging adults using e-cigarettes with THC or cannabis. The purpose of this study is to examine vaping patterns with cannabis and THC and the socio-demographic and personal factors associated with ever e-cigarette use, vaping with cannabis and THC among emerging adults transitioning from high school to college. So a little bit of background on why we chose or why I chose to do this study. So on top of the current popularity of using e-cigarettes or vaping nicotine, increasing numbers of youth are vaping THC or cannabis. So between 2011 and 2018, U.S. youth e-cigarette use rates rose from 1.5% to over 20% um, among middle and high schoolers. In 2020, nearly 4 million total middle and high schoolers currently use e-cigarettes. And 82% of patients hospitalized with an e-cigarette or vaping product use associated lung injury reported using THC containing products. So the 30 day prevalence of vaping marijuana increased between 2017-18 to about 2.6% among eighth graders 7% among 10th graders, 7.5% among 12th graders, and nearly doubled among college students to 10.9% and up to 9.3% among young adults. So the most dramatic increase of vaping marijuana prevalence was found in college students. Um, like I said, it doubled, and it's among one of the highest proportional increases for any substance use over the past 40 years. So it's pretty concerning to think about how high schoolers would transition to college and how to prevent them from using uh, cannabis with vapes. And the purpose of this is to identify what may put certain students at risk over other types of students. So in 2018, we administered a cross-sectional online survey related to e-cigarette patterns of use and purchase. This survey was emailed to incoming undergraduate students age 18 or older who were coming from high school to the University of Kentucky. It was sent to about 4,500 students and about 1,700 responses were obtained. Logistic regression evaluated associations among socio-demographic characteristics and e-cigarette use. Um, and Bivariate relationships were analyzed using chi-square test of associations and multinomial logistic regressions. So among that sample of the 1700 responses we obtained, uh, demographic data included age, gender, race, ethnicity, and sexual orientation. Other demographic data sampled included in-state or out-of-state residency, Greek life status, area of study, and of the sample, 74% were male, or were female, sorry. 25% were male and 1% were transgender. 80% were white or non-Hispanic. And 65% um, were in state. So generally, 48% of respondents reported ever using an e-cigarette. Of those who ever used, 30% reported using e-cigarettes with cannabis. And 24% of respondents reported current e-cigarette use, and one-third of those current users initiated use within the past year. So for some risk factors of using e-cigarettes with cannabis in particular, students who used other substances such as alcohol, um, combustible cigarettes, traditional cigarettes, or um, smoked marijuana were between one and 10 times more likely to use e-cigarettes with cannabis, which you can see on the poster, the individual breakdowns. And then of students who, whose friends used um, e-cigarettes with cannabis, 
they were 1.2% more likely. So then beyond these risk factors and into the patterns of use, one, point, or one in eight current e-cigarette users report vaping cannabis ever. 22% of the respondents who vape cannabis do so more than half the time that they use e-cigarettes at all, um, suggesting a significant pattern of incoming college students who vape cannabis, 4.3% of their five closest friends do. So pretty much everyone in the friend group does this. And there's a significant relationship between incoming college students who use um, e-cigarettes with cannabis and their parents also using. So moving into the discussion, vaping continues to be a, an issue among young adults, particularly as half of the, almost half of the sample of students transitioning from high school to college already report ever use. Messaging regarding the use of cannabis and THC and these products needs to be tested, especially with these at-risk groups that are identified in this study. The research presented here adds to literature supporting evidence-based cessation programs and providing information about cessation resources and support to users and allies is one of the next steps in the spread of this research. Comprehensive tobacco-free campus policies on college and university campuses, including e-cigarette prohibition explicitly in the campus policy language, may be a method to curb cannabis and THC use in college students. And both collaborative prevention and treatment efforts are absolutely necessary to help alleviate this growing health concern. So I want to thank you all for your time and listening to my poster presentation, and I look forward to answering your questions during the live Q&A session. Thank you.